First of all, welcome to China. And how, how have the discussions with the Mr. Wang Yi gone today? Today, we have very smooth discussion today. We talk with Foreign Minister of China Wang Yi on the international issues at the same time we are also talking about the relations between Russia and China we will continue to strengthen our cooperation I am very satisfied with the, the negotiation today of the Istanbul talks and when do you think might be the right time for the two presidents to sit down and talk we are satisfied with the negotiation happens in Istanbul. For our side, the most important thing is to make sure that Ukraine remains neutral and uh, non-nuclear status. At the same time, we have to make sure that Ukraine stay out of NATO. We have to have a very comprehensive understanding of this issue. As for Crimea and the Donbas issue, I believe we already resolved these problems. Russia has pledged to reduce military there activities in Kiev and northern Ukraine. However, us. U.S. is warning that the threat is not over. U.S. President Joe Biden has said, I quote, um, he said, um, I don't read anything into it until I see what their actions are. And at the same time, the U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has said, I quote, there was a difference between what Russia says and does. What's your response to this? Well, first of all, I cannot First of all, I should not think this way, because I should not have any illusions. I should not think on behalf of the U.S. President or on behalf of Blinken. I even don't want to bring up a huge number of examples when the United States said one thing and did something completely different. I could not imagine for the U.S. side, they never honored their commitments.